What's up everybody, this is your boy Thirsty Jack and welcome to another installment of Thirsty for Wrestling. And the gameplay I'm going to show you is GTA Online and they're playing this custom map team deathmatch. And this topic I'm going to talk about is Steph McMahon talking about pushing the LGBT characters and the storyline into WWE in the near future. And in my opinion about this thing is, well before I get my own opinion, this is what she stated on this article. Throughout my life I have grown up knowing gay WWE superstars and executives. It's always been accepted, but now it's been getting that message out there. We will integrate LGBT characters into our program, and I do think there will be opportunity to integrate some of those storylines in the near future. We had glad to come in, speak to our entire writing teams, and give a whole tutorial on sensitivity, the right words, and the wrong words, and why those words matter. I think that their guidance and support will be able to portray the LGBT storyline properly. Okay, that's what she stated. And my own honest opinion, I'm going to give you 100 by this. I don't think the LGBT storyline is going to last that long. It's going to pop up some part, but it won't be it won't be big and major. I think okay, we will see that. We will see this probably this year or should I say close to the end of this year and the reason I say that because we are you know beginning of the brand extension you know we got Raw and Smackdown and they try to gear up for the pay-per-view for SummerSlam and the the first spin-off or first solo pay-per-view will be Backlash I think it's for, for SmackDown I know Raw will have their own pay-per-view as well but once the Cruiserweight division come to play once the, the new version championship come to play and once we see the uh, the tag team title and the women title and the cruiserweight title come to play and then the sports season comes along that's where they're going to push the LGBT storyline because they try to make WWE popular again it's all about ratings and sponsor but it's going to be hard to do that if you're in the prime time and you got parents watching WWE is going to be a hard for the parents to explain the kid why that two men kissing each other and what transgender stand for. Pretty much some people know, some people are not going to know. Some people be offended, some people will be okay with it. So it's not good on paper, but it's going to lead not major problem, but minor problems. And fans is going to complain about it. Not all, but some. And the way they're going to make the storyline goes, you're talking about WWE creative team. In the past, creative team haven't been too successful with it. I mean, we paid attention to all the storyline in the past, and some was good, some left off in the, with big ass question marks, some just fell flat. And that's what I'm worried about if they will push the LGBT storyline. And. And we've seen in the past, we've seen, you know, Goldust, we've seen Rico, we've seen Billy and Chuck, and we see Big Beetle in a damn dress. The the Baldies, Big Beetle, from ECW wearing a fucking dress on SmackDown during the Ruth's Aggression era. And I don't know. I don't know if it will be successful. And if it does, it's gotta be is is it gotta be um this is my thought as a writer. If, okay, if I were to write for the LGBT storyline, it's got to be inspirational. It's got to be, it's got to be universal. If it's not, the fans going to miss it and the fans are not going to care about it. And most likely, it's got to be, it's got to be a good rival. It's got to be a good fight. You know, it's got to be an old school underdog something be inspiration to all the LGBT kids out there this you know prime example if a gay wrestler come out and say hey I'm gay I'm proud yada 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 and he had to go up against someone like Kevin Owens both of them fight each other Kevin Owens got the upper hands 
he get the first fight, get the first match. Second time round, second match. Then third round, then a gear wrestle win. You try to build him up as a as a strong fighter. And of course, okay, he's a gay wrestler, but he's a good fighter, a good wrestler. And you push him, push him, push him towards your first title. The first title could be a cruiserweight title or the Intercontinental Championship or the US title or any kind of title. Build him up, boom, won the title. That will be a good, you know, inspirational way. Or even bigger, or have him win, you know, the money in the bank if he build up to a main event spot. Even more. Main event WrestleMania, making history, making inspiration that you can do it. But that's my that's my way of writing. That's my creative mind going. But with WWE, they don't think that way. They just you know do it as a side note, as a likely we see the mid card storyline. And and I know that's kind of pretty fucked up. That's going that's going to happen. They're going to put. The LGBT LGBT storyline for the mid card and plus for the cruiserweight division as well. I will be shocked if they put that for the main event spot for the championship title or the title involvement. That's the way I see it. But down the road, you know how they are, and I can only imagine if a gay person, a gay wrestler, like a uh, a transgender or whatever, a gay, pretty much a gay wrestler come up and he had to fight Brock Lesnar. That would be a travesty. <laughs> I, I ain't made a laugh, but it would be a travesty if this shit happened. Uh, Brock Lesnar beat the shit out of a gay wrestler. That would not look good on that part. And you know how Brock Lesnar go. He just don't give a fuck. Even Dean Ambrose mentioned about Brock Lesnar being a, a lazy worker. But, <clears throat> and not only that, you got transgender. Like, what if a transgender become the women champion? Then you give more fuel for for fans to bitch and complain about it. For me, on the other hand, if they go for it, I hope they do it right. And I would love to see a history making for WWE. I would love to see a first LGBT person win a, a championship title or be in the main event for WrestleMania. Hell, even to become the world champion. At least do something different, making a history making, and at least do inspirational. Not for, not for comedic jokes. Not for you know, time filler for Raw or SmackDown. If they do, if they're gonna do it, I hope they do it right. Do it in a serious note. Of course, you no, know, through a little bit of light humor, a small little light humor. It doesn't make it balanced, but do it in the most inspirational way. Like. I'm trying to think. Will be a most, will be a good way. I, I'm trying to think something like, um, prime example. In Trooper A, they have a bunch of gay wrestlers. They call themselves a uh, ex, um, exotidos. Prime example, Passionate Crystal. Great wrestler, a uh, great person, but he's gay in real life. You no know, support with the LGBT community. Everybody in Mexico, they love him. And he's a great wrestler. And he can put one hell of a match. And they portray him as a serious, serious wrestler. Same thing with Lucha Underground. Um, Pimplica Escalado. I know I'm butchered the name up, but when he come in <clears throat> when he come in Lucha Underground, yeah. He comes as a gay wrestler, but nine out of ten, you see him as an ass kicker. And I'll go bring him another name. I mentioned him on WWE, but that's like a bad example. Um, I try to think. Oh, look at um in Japan. I try to think somebody. Um, damn, the dude with the blonde hair. He was a former champion, but he portrayed Dino. That's the name is Dino. I forget the old boy name, but his name is Dino. He wrestled in Japan as well, and he was a champion. He portrayed as a comedic wrestler, but he's an ass kicker as well, and you can take him seriously. So, sh- short story told. I hope the LGBT storyline portrayed as a serious note. But I got a feeling that WWE, along the way, it'll come up strong, but they're going to find a way to drop the ball. And WWE is known for dropping the ball. But it looking good now with this new era, but somewhere, just like Steve A. Smith would say in the first take, that accident is waiting to happen. So, I'm rooting for WWE to do something good, but like I said, 
that accident is waiting to happen. So we're gonna fall back and see this whole plan follow through. So that's all I gotta say about it. Um, there's the video. I hope you guys enjoy my video. Leave a like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me your honest opinion about WWE pushing this LGBT storyline into the WWE universe. Do you think it'd be good? Is it going to be a flop? Give me your thoughts. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.